Three words that describe Joe, I think, um, would be loyal, um, honest, and um, resilient. I think the three words that describe Paul to me is that he's very driven, also that he's uh, very motivated, not self-motivated, and uh, he's very loyal. No, we don't really argue. Like We'll have open conversations, and we have them quite often, uh, but we don't really have arguments. Uh, one of the annoying things that Paul does, um, I guess for me, I like wearing no shoes in the office, and he always complains about me not wearing shoes. So that's one thing that annoys me because he's annoyed at my bare feet. Yes, Joe borrowed my blower for my backyard <laughs> and he took a long time to return it. And uh, yeah, but I needed it to clean my yard up. I know that sounds, <laughs> but I, I pestered him until he gave it back to me. Yeah, I think uh, playing rugby league, I I've learned a lot. I've had a lot of friends that have been of Maori or Pacifica culture. Um, uh, I've learnt um, how hungies are made. Uh, I've learned um, a few words from the haka and uh, a lot about family and culture. Losing is never easy uh, because it's your job, it's your livelihood. So when you're out there playing, you've got to give everything you've got. Um, and when you lose, it's a, it's a bad feeling, but it also teaches you a lot. How I handle a loss, uh, I guess um, when I was playing sport, uh, to know that it's not the end of the world and that um, you can always bounce back. That there's, a, there's always another day to, to get up and fight again. I've experienced racism. I, I grew up in um, north of Newcastle in the, the Hunter region, Port Stephens area. And um, my dad was a concreter, um, typical Italian. And um, probably we were the only ethnic looking people in the whole town. And so I, I did, like rugby league is predominantly not a not an Italian person's game and so yeah I, I grew up playing rugby league with a lot of um, Anglo-Australians and so when I'd go to play against other teams that potentially hadn't seen somebody like me uh, come on the field um, I don't know maybe they felt scared or threatened and yeah I did I, I, I copped a lot of racism um, I was born in Australia but I got told to go back to where I came from um, and told to go and eat spaghetti and uh, yeah, so yeah, I did cop a lot of racism, especially on the rugby league field. There was one game that I played down in Wollongong and uh, I was really, really upset at half time. And my coach, who was a mentor of mine, um, he asked me why I was off my game and I explained to him why, uh, because I was getting, you know, racially abused out on the field. And, and he made um, a point to me that stuck with me uh, and he sort of said that only doing it to upset you, they're only doing it to put you off your game. And um, and he said, again, just put it away, focus on your job. Uh, and that helped me because I realized that all they wanted to do was bring me down. We're all gonna have setbacks in life. And um, for me, I just had to deal with it by, by putting, a, putting it up behind me, putting it away. And that way, um, you know, I could focus on the next step Who is the better player between out of me and Paul? Uh, it's a hard one because uh, we both have uh, unique skills and we both play different positions. If you were going to ask who's more handsome, I'd say Joe, but, but I'll have to say Paul's the better player because he's better looking than me too. So. Uh, who's a better player? Now again, look, we had different jobs on the field, so it's hard to say who's a better player. I think uh, we get along because you know we, I think we share the same values um, that um, we care for each other. Um, that you know, I guess ethnicity and colour doesn't come into it. Um, I think you know, for everyone, you know, if you just see the person um, for who they are and what they believe in, and if it's you know something that uh, aligns with what you believe, then you know it goes a long way with uh, building a good friendship. Think about the Italian heritage. Um, that I've learned from Paul, and it's probably something similar to my own culture, is uh, family and uh, how uh, family is uh, the centre of uh, their culture and um, that, um, I guess, through food, um, it's a way of bringing those, uh, that, that community or family together. 
It doesn't matter that Joe's from a different culture, um, again, because he has his own abilities uh, and I've got mine, so together we make a strong team. I don't think any form of um, racism or people being racist belongs in Australia or in my community. Joe's one of my closest friends and um, it, it doesn't matter where he comes from and I think that rugby league is one of those things that's brought us together. I love the freedom that Australia offers. I, my family came here in 1964 from poverty in the south of Italy. People that come here to this country need to work hard and, and anything's possible. Do I love Paul? I love Paul very, very much. He's a really great friend. Uh, he's fun to be around and uh, he's someone that I really inspires me to be uh, a better person. So yeah, you could say I love Paul. And I don't, I don't think about his cultural background and I don't think about the colour of his skin and I don't think about, you know, where his family came from. I, I look at his heart um, and I look at him as a person. Paul's got a real dry sense of humour, and which is kind of like my sense of humour. So we kind of get each other's jokes. Um, so we kind of... Sorry, you have a truck, we have to do that again. Where's the truck? Where's the truck and pass you? Good marks. <laughs> I was going to say truck and pass you. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm just buzzing in my pocket. <laughs> just in case. Good reminder. Joe and I start each day with a hug as well, so that sort of helps our friendship a little bit. It brings us closer together. Oh, 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 oh. We love hugs! Oh. Oh. Uh, and coffee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>